Hey guys, today on JD Cars, we'll be wrapping the steering wheel on my BMW E90. Here I'd like to give a huge shout out and thank you to Me Want for sending me the steering wheel cover. I'll be putting links to their E90 steering wheel covers in the description below. So inside the box here, we have a little materials kit including a pry tool, some double sided adhesive tape, a needle, a little thimble here, and four little rolls of thread in the color of your choice. As you can see, I decided to go with the M colors as I'm installing this on a BMW. Next we have a brief but very informative instruction manual with a link to an installation video. We have installation instructions on how to install the cover, and we also have very detailed instructions on how to stitch the cover on. Finally, we've got the steering wheel cover itself here. It's not going to look much like a steering wheel yet as it's not yet installed, but the cover is made of very nice material. Side grips here are made of a perforated leather type material, and as you can see again, I went with the M color stitching. I also opted for the red indicator stripe that goes at the top of the steering wheel. First things first, we want to make sure that the steering wheel cover fits properly on the steering wheel. So obviously the red stripe is going to go at the top to differentiate which side goes on the back and which side goes towards the driver. Come to the bottom of the steering wheel cover. The U shape is going to go on the front of the steering wheel. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay it over the steering wheel to test fit it here. You do have to apply quite a bit of pressure. It may seem at first like it's not going to fit, but that's not the case. It's just a tight fit. Once you've got your steering wheel cover here situated and positioned properly, it's time to apply the included double sided tape all around the perimeter and more specifically any areas that are going to try to come off from the steering wheel such as the indents at the 9 and 3 handholds right here as well as this little indent here at 6 o'clock. Simply unpeel a little piece here and cut it using scissors. come to any challenging area such as the back or the top of the steering wheel, simply start up the car and gently rotate the steering wheel. Now I can more easily work on the top of the steering wheel which is now located at the bottom. So I'm all done applying the double sided adhesive to the steering wheel. Don't forget about the back edge, all these concave areas, the top and again the back edge. Not gonna lie, that definitely took a while, but I got all the adhesive backing off. Now I'm just gonna double check that this is properly centered. Then we're gonna go ahead and apply pressure to stick the steering wheel cover to the wheel. Once you've evened this all out, we can go ahead and begin pressing down on the adhesive. Do not push down on the adhesive in the control panel areas or at the six o'clock position. Once you've affixed the cover to the positions here, as well as the top, it's time to focus on tucking it in at the six o'clock position and next to the control panels here. Do not simply just jab at the cover, you'll damage the leather. Instead, first apply the adhesive in the area like so, peel back the overhanging edge and push it into the crack like so. Once you have an edge in, you can follow up the edge gently to tuck it in. Here's what it should look like after doing so. We're gonna repeat the same process with this part of the cover. We're gonna tuck it right into this seam right here. I grab myself a second pry tool here. I'm just gonna wedge it in to create a little gap between the control panel and the leather. So I've been struggling tucking this in a bit and I've concluded the reason is there's an excessive amount of material here. Better there be excess material than not enough, obviously, but I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this back a little bit to make it easier to tuck in. That took quite a while, but we got it fitted nicely into the seam on both sides here, as well as down at the bottom. So now it's time to grab our thread and needle, and we're gonna start stitching the cover onto the wheel. I'll be starting with this section of the wheel right here, and I'm gonna get myself probably about three feet of thread. Now obviously, thread the needle. 
Now get the two ends even and tie two or three knots in it. Make sure it won't come undone. As you can see, our seams match up nicely here. I'm gonna take the needle here. I'm gonna go through the inside of the leather. Then we're gonna go through the outside hole that's already existing here and through the inside hole, outside hole, etc. All right, so that was the hard part. Simply gonna stitch through the pre-existing stitches here. Pull the two pieces of leather together. So that's the basic stitch, pretty simple. I did miss a stitch right there, but you get the idea. You just go in from the outside into the pre-existing stitches, crossing back and forth. Full update here and this is what the stitching looks like so far. I really like the M colors and it looks great so far. As you can see my three foot estimate was pretty close but I'm running short. I'm gonna have to tie it off in a knot, clip it, and get myself a bit more thread to finish this off. As you can see I did untuck this to get this to lie flat in the corner to prevent any creasing. I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck it back in. I'll give you an update once I'm done with this section and I'm moving on to the top. Okay, I've rotated the wheel. Here's all of our stitching and, and here's the point we're at now. Now we have to bind off the thread. I'm gonna pass through this hole, out the other hole, out the other hole in the leather, pass through this once or twice, and then we're gonna tie a knot right here. So here it is, all finished off. You can see I put a knot in the thread. It's not coming undone. Now we're gonna repeat the same process on the upper part of the steering wheel here. So we've gotten started here on the top section. As you probably noticed, my stitching's getting a lot cleaner. The stitch pattern is very neat. And the top section's coming along much more quickly than my first section here, which isn't bad, it just took me a while. Also, just a quick note to keep you on track, you try to line up the seams of the leather with the original steering wheel seams, like so. All right, left side's done. Upper portion is complete. Just knotted it off here. And we're on to the final section here, and it'll be all done. And here we are, nearly six hours later, finally complete. Ladies and gentlemen, I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. All right guys, just got back from my first day driving with the new steering wheel cover. I didn't have a whole lot to say last night because I was out here stitching this until about 11 o'clock. Took me a little over six hours and I have to say it makes an enormous difference when you're driving the car. Obviously this is the one thing you're touching and holding on to when you're driving the car. It really improves your connection with the car. This material feels great in your hands, makes the steering wheel more beefy and it feels like an M Sport steering wheel, except without the $800 price tag. All in all, the entire installation took about six hours. My GUI was filming the entire process. It did take a lot longer than I expected. That being said, I would say this is well worth the time. It's not very expensive and it's a pretty fun project. So all in all, I would highly recommend the Miwant steering wheel cover for your BMW. Again, huge thank you to Miwant for sending me the steering wheel cover. Definitely check out the links in the description. I've listed a couple of Miwant's BMW E90 steering wheel covers, so you guys can go ahead and check them out. Please leave a like below and subscribe if you've yet to do so. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time on JD Cars.